Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Muktadir Abi and welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to compute stream density or drainage density uh, in RGIS so let's add our file here so I have two file here, two shape file here, one is area file and one is stream file and uh, one of my previous video I showed you how to delineate watershed from an study area and if you don't know how to do it or if you miss that video just pause this video and uh, see that video and you will understand how to delineate watershed from an study area okay so here is our stream, uh, stream and uh, this is our study area and we want to compute uh, stream density for this and if you don't know what the stream density is, stream density depicts the availability and behavior of water in watershed. Stream density is an important water characteristic that can be indicator of potential water supply. And if you want to know more about stream density, uh, check my description. Okay, as you can see, the uh, current displaying degrees uh, of data frame is decimal degrees, so it doesn't make any sense. So to change it, go to uh, properties and go to general and uh, change display as meter, millimeter, centimeter, whatever you want. Okay, I'm choosing meters. Okay, see the uh, units is now changed. Now go to uh, right click in here and open attribute table. And uh, we need a field here is uh, length meter. So let's add a field and name this as length and uh, type as uh, double and click so right click here and go to calculate geometry and uh, properties select length and uh, unit as meters okay so our length has calculated so this is a very small area so the length is very small and then go to right click in here and go to uh, open attribute table and we also need an area here uh, okay this is the formula to calculate the stream density of an area and uh, stream density equal to you can see sum of stream, stream length uh, divided by uh, study area okay so right click here and open attribute table and uh, let's add field here and let's name it as area and uh, set type as double and again right click here and go to calculate geometry and uh, select property as area and unit as square meter as we are uh, me measuring our line as length uh, stream length as meter so select the same units so okay and uh, click okay and uh, this is our area here so uh, again uh, go to stream and uh, open attribute table and in length right click here and go to statistics and uh, you can see here this is the sum sum of our stream length just copy it and go to water shed again and this is our area and uh, create another field and we can name this as stream density as is D and let's set type as plot okay then uh, right click here and go to field calculator and uh, as the formula uh, this is the sum of stream length sum divided by divided by our area okay Okay, so here is our uh, cal calculation completed and uh, this is the stream density of our study area. Okay, so then go to our toolbox and uh, go to our special analysis uh, tools and under density select line density and input polyline feature as a stream and select population field as grid code and you can uh, change the output raster folder here and you can also change any units 
and this go to environments and uh, go to raster analysis and select mask as watershed and uh, cell size as minima minima into and click okay 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 so here is our uh, density and uh, let's change this appearance as okay see here and next go to uh, properties and you can uh, change the appearance of this file and uh, set let's say select classes as white class and you can also go to classify and uh, change the layer as you want and uh, you can also change the method here equal interval or natural breaks Okay, and uh, go to level and format levels and in, in numeric field uh, you can change this like okay and click apply and you can also change the color here let's choose um, green to red Or you can select uh, uh, okay that would be better and uh, you can also use heel shade effect see so that's it that's all for today and uh, hope you learned something new and if you are new, new to my channel please uh, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and uh, see you in next video thank you